Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Sailor's Wife Crazy Life. It is Friday, and we wear red on Fridays. Remember, everyone deployed. So, this morning, we are going to have a little coffee combo, as you saw. It is about 10.40. Uh, we had a late start this morning. Uh, Brennan was up probably about 9. I got up about 9.30. We had breakfast. I don't eat breakfast. This is my breakfast because, as you saw, it is coffee mixed with a protein shake. Let me tell you what. Not only does it make it taste like a caramel iced coffee, it's amazing, and you can still taste the coffee in it, I promise. You might think that it would water it down super, super watery, but it does not. It makes it taste super yummy, makes it taste like a caramelized coffee, and it literally has your protein shake in it that you would normally drink in the morning anyways. I cannot take credit for that. I do watch a girl on YouTube that showed me this, and ever since, it has been... A plus 100, that's what I drink in the morning. So, I want to start off this morning. I don't want to get too much into the politics of it. Um, I just kind of want to voice my opinion. And then we will move on to something a little bit more awesome. Um, so, as all of us have seen in the media, um, the passing of the bill to ban abortions. I have not physically had an abortion. I have no qualms about saying that. However, I have had friends that have had to have abortions um, for medical reasons. I have had friends who have had abortions when I was younger. Um, some of them forced on by parents and that kind of thing. But I believe every woman has the right to choose what she does with her body. Um, hopefully this doesn't lose me subscribers, but listen, there's always that certain percentage where, um, it is for medical reasons that it needs to be done. Um, you know, some women have to choose between their child's life and their own. I mean, that's just the God's honest truth. And, you know, as women, you know, as an unfortunate of a situation as it is, you may have to abort a child and, you know... I personally have never had an abortion. I have never thought about having an abortion. Never in my life would I ever think I would do one, but I do believe that for other women, it is their right to choose. Um, I have known, I have not known personally, but you see on the news that, you know, people are raped every day. I believe that in a rape situation, they should be allowed to choose. I believe in any situation, you should be allowed to choose. But my thing is, is if you make abortion illegal, all you're doing is making abortion more scary because guess what you're not going to get rid of it what you're going to do is is you're going to make it to where women go looking for it in the wrong places and you're going to end up with i'm sorry to say it women that are going to pass away because they have it done improperly i'm in the medical field i know what goes on when you have to do a dnc and let me tell you it is it's not a procedure that needs to be done without it being properly. It needs to be done properly, and unfortunately, if you ban it, what's going to happen is is that you're going to have people going and looking in it, looking for it in the wrong places, and you're going to have people that get sick. They're going to pass away. Um, it's an unsterile environment when they look for places like that, and I hope and pray to God that you know they still allow people to make that choice, or women, for that matter, to have that choice because it is our bodies um no one knows our bodies like us and that's all i'm gonna say about it because i don't want to get into the politics of it like i said i hope it doesn't lose me subscribers that's just the way that i feel about it and i love you guys i hope you stick around i just wanted to put it out there because it really just it it really irks me unfortunately because you know i have had friends that <clears throat> have needed to do it for medical reasons. And, you know, that's even going to be considered illegal, even if it's a medical reason, even if you find out that, hey, 
your child's not going to live outside the womb, it doesn't matter. They're not going to let you do it. And that's just crazy to me. Um, so I apologize for the somber talk this morning, but we are going to get into something much more fun. Another sip of coffee. So today we are going to do a what's in my bag tour. I have seen this all over YouTube. This is my new favorite bag. <laughs> okay, so we're back. So my camera decided to die. I knew it was going to happen. It was flashing red at me. So let's get back to this. So this is my new bag. And as I said, it is a Louis Vuitton dupe. It is not a um, replica. It is not, there's no Louis Vuitton on it. I promise. It's made by a company called Daisy Rose. Um, they sell out super fast. I happen to be online at like midnight one night, you know, midnight shopping so that I don't eat, you know, this mama's a fat butt. Um, but they had just come back online. So I snagged one while I could. Um, I will link it in the description box below. Um, this is a lifesaver and I'm not going to lie. I just got it. So, um, I'm still figuring out how I'm going to work things inside the bag, but I will show you what's in it. Um, so inside you can see it is just one big pocket. You have the two smaller pockets over here as well as a zip pouch here. All the zippers, they just slide and glide amazingly I love them um so all of the hardware is just super pretty all the hardware is just super gorgeous you can cinch this I haven't found that it really does anything other than make this stick out so um let's just get into what I have in here so there is a key hook here. I do not put my keys on it. I actually do have a little keychain that's supposed to go on my keys that is a charger for my phone and it just kind of sits here on a little key ring on the inside. In the inside pockets here I have my battery bank. Yes ladies it is rose gold. In the other pocket I just have my military ID because we got to have it all the time. I do have the cord that goes to my battery bank. I have a cleaning cloth for my glasses and my easy to grab. This is the O'Keeffe's brand chapstick, if it will focus here. I love this stuff. I use the working hands when it is, you know, super winter time and my hands get like that. It's not winter time right now, but it seems to be that the air is super dry right now. So, um, that's why I've got that. And I love the lip one too. So let's put that back. Um, the bag itself does come with like a little wristlet that is originally attached to that key ring. Um, I'm not going to be using this as a cosmetics bag. It's a little too small for me for cosmetics that I carry with me right now. All I have in it is a hand cream and I love this hand cream. It is dreamer by Victoria's secret. I love this is it Victoria's secret. Hold on. I'm sorry. It may be bath and body works. It is bath and body works. It's dreamer from bath and body works. It smells amazing. <sighs> Um, and then this is my Victoria's Secret. So I have the oh so sexy Victoria's Secret um, little plastic eau de parfum bottle that I put in there. And then I've got just some extra pins in case I'm out and need to write something down. Um, this one will come in super duper handy. Um, me and my girls are going to a Kane Brown concert. So this is what I will be taking with me. I will take the stuff out of it and I will throw a couple cards in, some cash. It's perfect for that. So this will be perfect for the Kane Brown concert. I hope at least because the, unfortunately there's no card slots in it. So it's not like a true little wristlet, but I do have like a little wallet um, that you can slide just a couple little cards in and your ID. So I'll probably just plop that down in there, grab some chapstick, 
Um, maybe a small little hand cream. I do have some of the little small um, Bath and Body Works little tubes of hand cream. So I may throw that down in here because I'm trying to keep my hands as moisturized as possible. So um, <clears throat> I do have the wallet that matches the purse. Um, the purse itself was like $39.99 and the wallet was like $16.99 maybe. Like I said, I will find the links and I will link them down in the description box. This is not as big as my normal wallet. I will confess that. I am used to carrying the 31 All About the Benjamins wallet. It holds every card in the world. You can put your passport in it. You can put, oh my God, so much stuff in it. It's ridiculous. Um, and when I was doing my cash envelopes, it fit absolutely amazing. Um, so anyways, let me take some stuff out here. Um, I've got the Bubba some change because any change that I get goes in his piggy bank. And we did go to the military appreciation night y'all at Chick-fil-A. And if you are military and you're here, you know what it is like to get um, the coins from your husband's deployments and from the ships and Y'all, let me show you how cute this is real quick. I don't want to go too far off on a tangent, but these were super cute. They were passing them out at Chick-fil-A. It is a Chick-fil-A military appreciation coin. So it's got the chicken on one side, and then it says, thank you for your service, military appreciation. Not on the other side, it says Chick-fil-A, Metro DC, military appreciation 2019. Thank you. And it is just super cute, y'all. I was so excited to get something like this. And it's just, you know, we are getting ready to leave, so it's just super cute to have something like that. So, the rest of what's in my wallet, you guys can't see anything anyways, but <clears throat> it's got four card slots on either side, which is nice because I just keep kind of what I absolutely need in this wallet. Um, and then it does have the zipper enclosure, to hold change, like I said, I don't keep changing my wallet the minute I get it. It goes in the B-Nuggets um, piggy bank or his five gallon water jug because that's what we fill up and then every so often I'll take it to the bank. Um, this is, it's covered in washi tape. <clears throat> but it is just for, you know, any reason whatsoever. I need my kids' social security card or my social security card. I just keep them in here, honest to God, like... <clears throat> If anybody finds this and wants to take over my social security, they ain't gonna want it anyways. My credit's not that great. I'm still rebuilding it, as you all know. That's why we've been doing the, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so, if anybody wants my credit score, they can have it. I will gladly trade somebody for a higher credit score. It does fit, you know, money. I did have money in here the other day, so it fits money nice. And neat this is like a receipt here but you can see how well it fits and the zipper glides amazingly I love it um so on to the next I do have my keys just kind of rattling around in here y'all this is my favorite keychain it is Victoria's Secret and I just love the pink sparkly and y'all if, if any of you have known me for any length of time you know that I don't really like pink but this was just super cute. That's the little like alligator claw clip. I just love it. <laughs> it's just cute and dainty, but I digress. Um, so this is actually a makeup bag that I got from my husband's aunt and I love it. It's just an Ulta makeup bag, but I love the, just the little attention to detail, the little string here to move the zipper back and forth. And if you can see it, it's, it is flowers, but it's kind of like a pink starburst pattern too. So it's super pretty. And I'm not going to pull everything out because it's just lipsticks and stuff that I carry with me. I actually don't even have everything in here with me because I have it out on my counter upstairs. So right now it's just, you know, chapsticks and stuff, extra chapsticks. Um, I always keep a chapstick in here for each girl just in case, you know, we drink after each other, we kiss each other. But, you know, when it comes down to dry and chapped lips, I don't play games with that because, you know, it can be caused by numerous things. So I always keep a chapstick for the girls. I actually, this is a trick, y'all. It's a lovely hack that I learned. So you take an old bottle of um, whatever eye drops that, you know, you would normally use. This little cap here actually pops off. And what I did was, is I popped this off and this has contact solution in it. So it no longer is just 
you know, allergy eye drops or whatever. It actually has contact solutions. And then I got this little contact case. It's just from Walmart. Cutesy little contact case. It has a mirror to help you put your contacts in. Of course, it's gross right now, but... And then my little contact case on the inside. It all stays nice and neat and pretty in the little contact case. Because I'm OCD when it comes to my purse. Like, it can get a mess. Don't get me wrong. But as soon as it starts to get too unruly, I will take everything out and I will fix it. And it goes back in a certain order. Because I like to be able to go straight into my purse and know where things are. So that's why I have a lot of little bags in there. And it, because it is one big open bag, it's good to have all these little bags inside. And then I always keep Excedrin. Um, and of course... I have to say it, it's not sponsored by Excedrin or anything like that, but as you guys know, I have my day piercing. I get migraines really bad, like really, really bad. Since I hit puberty, they have hit me and they hit me like a ton of bricks. So I do have my day piercing on my right side. However, um, now when I get migraines, they're only on the left. So I need to get this one done. I swear by this piercing. Um, so I do get breakthrough migraines and because I get breakthrough migraines, they're only on the left hand side I don't ever feel them on the right, which is wonderful But of course because you get a migraine and it's only on one side. It's like it's even more excruciating. So It is what it is. Eventually I will find the time to get the other side done um, I do have just a normal notebook This notebook is just some random Maybe you've even been dollar store. Maybe you've been Target or Walmart. Just a cheap little um, notebook here as you can see I'm almost out well not almost out but you know what I mean I use this thing daily um, I will sit down and I will write down um, cleaning lists like when I need to clean I will physically sit down and put like living room you know dust vacuum blah 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 kitchen blah 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 you know I always do that and let me tell you what it will help you to remember exactly what you need to do in each room and then of course I make my shopping list on that as well so do i always follow my shopping list absolutely not i am that mama and when kids ask for stuff i have a tendency to just get them what they want so my bad um but i do try to stay to as close to the shopping list as possible because we do have a budget that we keep for shopping so for groceries i mean and so i keep that this is my newest and loving find. I actually found this one at Walmart. A lot of the people that I have seen, they have found theirs at Target. I love it. It is, um, it, this one hasn't officially started yet, but I have started putting dates in it. This one starts in July of this year. Um, I did have a planner that was in my purse, but unfortunately I used um, that one till its very end. This one was just super cute because it's got stickers you can put on the date. It's got like doctor and dentist and ooh, copy date. Um, it's And you get two pages of each. So there's like date night on here. There's road trip. And then this one is, you know, best date ever. If you're putting for like your wedding anniversary, which is coming up y'all, 10 years with me and my husband. Um, you got this, you know, motivational stuff. And then... This is kind of like a bullet journal, um, which I love. So if you're making a list or whatever, there's little checkoffs, there's little stars, there's just all these little things that you can use to do lists. And you get two pages of those. And then it goes straight into the 2019 planner. The July is coming up. So I have like birthdays down here. And July is going to be crazy for us. So finish packing order the movers, that kind of thing. And it goes straight into your actual full month spectrum. So you get the full month on these two pages. And then you get by day next. So that goes all the way through the 31st and then starts, you know, August. And then each page that is the divider has this little cool inspirational quote. You know, it's just, they're, it's just super cute. So I have that in there. And last but not least, I always, always, always keep wintergreen lifesavers in my purse. And I know y'all, this is, you know, as ghetto as they come, keeping it in a Ziploc bag. But I buy these, these five pound bags or two and a half pound bags, depending upon what they have at Walmart. And I just put, you know, I fill this up about halfway and my little man loves these things. So he's constantly asking me. Want one right now? Mm -hmm. See, he's coming over for one now. Here you go. Yay. 
He loves these things. He's constantly asking me, can I have a peppermint? Can I have a peppermint? Which I'm all for. Like, yeah, they're a little sweet, but at least he doesn't have stank breath. So that is it for what is pretty much in my bag. I don't put anything in this zipper compartment other than just some extra pins. Um, or we'll see, what do I have in here? Oh yeah, I have my pen for my planner. I just got these. It's not gonna come out. I got these really cool, it says advanced ink pens, 100% smooth. It's a ballpoint. I love super fat ballpoints and it came in like 10 colors. So because the book was like peach and teal, I chose the teal pen. So anyways, you guys, that is it. Um, I do switch it up some depending upon what my day is going to look like. You know, I do have three kids, so sometimes it ends up being that I have to shove some extra stuff down in here. And, you know, when Brendan was a little bit littler, I was able to, I had another bag almost similar to this. So I would shove diapers down in here and I had like a little pouch, another little pouch that had like maybe two diapers and um, a travel size pack of wipes that I kept in here. So this is perfect. You could use this as a diaper bag. Doesn't necessarily have to be a purse, but both the wallet and the purse are both from Daisy Rose. Um, I think I spent about 55 or 60 bucks between the both of them. And I love, love, love it. So as always, you guys, this is what's been in my bag. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed like this video. If you did thumbs up, uh, as always, subscribe, 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 and hit the little bell button to see when my videos become available. And as always, you guys, I love you. Thanks for being here. Keep living the crazy life. See ya!